Now to the verdict in the case of accused bomber Jokar Sarnayev tonight. Guilty on all 30 counts, Sarnayev now eligible for the death penalty. The seven women and five men deliberating for just 11 hours, jurors wiping away tears. Sarnayev stoic, emotionless as the verdict was read, then slumping in his chair. That courtroom packed with the families of his victims. His lawyers declaring on day one it was him, but then arguing during the trial that images like these prove that he was under his older brother's influence following him. Now those same jurors must decide whether he should die. ABC's Tom Yamas in Boston tonight. Nearly two years to the day after Jahar Sarnayev and his brother committed the worst terror attack in the United States since 9-11, the 21-year-old now facing death row. In court today, victims and their family members there to watch, like Liz Norton, her sons standing right next to Jahar Sarnayev on Marathon Monday when he planted his bomb. They both lost the leg. Um, below the beach. I really don't know too much because it's just so overwhelming. It's like a nightmare. Outside of court today, she made it clear she wants Sarnayev to die. For myself, I, I, I want to see the death penalty. Sarnayev, like he has throughout the trial, showed no emotion, angering some of his victims. He's been, uh, to use my word, arrogant, walking in and out of the courtroom um, and completely disinterested. In court, the parents of eight-year-old Martin Richard held each other, fighting back tears. I asked Mike Ward, a firefighter who tried to save little Martin's life, if Sarnayev deserves to die. Ultimate judgment will come to all. This same jury, selected from a pool of nearly 1,400 people, will decide if Jahar lives or dies. Seven women and five men, including a student, a former nurse, and a Coast Guard air traffic controller. They heard testimony from 11 of the marathon bombing victims, including 27-year-old Rebecca Gregory, seen here moments after the first blast took her leg. Today saying she's willing to take the stand again during sentencing. He should be held accountable for his actions. And I'm very thankful for each of the jury members that are making him do that. Tonight in Boston, this image, white roses on Boylston Street. This trial, a marathon of pain for victims. It's not over, but tonight they can see the finish line. This has been such a difficult time for Boston, the families, the victims, and Tom Yamas with us live tonight. Tom, the sentencing phase now begins as early as Monday. That's right. The prosecution starts, then the defense picks up. It's unclear if Jahar Sarnayev will take the stand. He may want to now fight for his life, and then after that, the jury will decide if he lives or dies. David? Tom Yamas covering this trial from the start. Tom, thank you.